There are thousands of different kinds of microscopic algae or plankton, but only about a hundred of them produce toxins. These are some of the most potent biological toxins known, poisoning humans and wildlife every year, mostly from eating affected fish and shellfish. Underneath the Santa Cruz Wharf in California, scientists monitor ocean water using small mesh bags filled with resins that absorb biotoxins such as domoic acid. And our, our project is basically to work with the state of California through the Department of Public Health to test different methods of trying to get at toxins in the seawater. So the problem is not that we're eating the cells directly, so if you swallowed a mouthful of seawater, it really wouldn't do anything to you. But a mussel is collecting millions of these cells and chewing them up and accumulating that toxin. Instead of getting that little bit of toxin from the cells, you're getting a huge amount because that mussel has taken it all and concentrated it in. When biotoxins reach 20 parts per million, the California Department of Public Health closes commercial fishing areas to prevent people from eating toxic seafood. For companies like the Santa Barbara Mariculture Farm, growing shellfish out in the open water, testing for biotoxins is a weekly task all year long. The, the Department of Public Health certifies uh, this area for shellfish growing. And in order to get the, the certificate, we test for paralytic shellfish poisoning, amnesic shellfish poisoning, which is demoic acid, and we test for fecal coliform. Currently, monitoring for biotoxin affecting seafood is only done for shellfish that live close to the water's surface. In the Santa Barbara Basin, a team of researchers from the University of South Carolina are the first to look at biotoxins that are sinking through the ocean, as well as in sediment samples on the ocean floor. So a lot of research previously has been done on demoic acid in surface waters, and that's where demoic acid is produced in the photic zone. And most people have assumed that it stays in the surface waters or is photodegraded. And sediment traps showed us that a considerable amount of demoic acid is sinking from the surface waters to deeper waters. And recent studies have shown that flatfish and crabs that live on the bottom of the ocean actually have considerable amounts of demoic acid in them. Additional monitoring may be needed of these types of seafood not previously recognized as a potential hazard. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.